Well, time to focus on business. The job numbers are out, and it doesn't look good. Business editor Mike Eppel joins us now. Mike, how are things looking out there? Well, Dave, uh, as expected, the February jobs report really showing the damage done from the falling price for oil, specifically on Alberta's economy. In fact, all of the Western Canada provinces had a uh, negative uh, performance for job creation in February as uh, the falling price for oil leading to a lot of, lot of job cuts. And Alberta's unemployment rate now at its highest level in about three years. On the national average, we're looking at a 6.8% Canadian unemployment rate, up two-tenths of a percent. The economy nationally lost about a thousand jobs that wasn't as bad as many had forecast and it has stabilized the Canadian dollar to some extent still not good but it doesn't necessarily mean that come April the Bank of Canada will be cutting interest rates for a second time so there's a lot of factors at play here and we'll see how this goes out on a longer term basis uh, Ontario Quebec uh, some of the central Canada provinces seeing a little bit of job creation bolstered by the falling value for the Canadian dollar and an uptrend for manufacturing the dollar this morning incidentally at 78 and a half cents US exchange rate north of a dollar 27 and basically very close to a 10-year low. We had uh, a report in from the International Energy Agency out of Paris this morning saying that uh, in this U.S. oversupply of oil, the big problem now, not enough storage capacity. They're running out of space to put oil. Even as the rig count has been cut over the past number of weeks, they're still oversupplying in the U.S. They can't export it. There's a ban on that uh, dating back 40 years. They're trying to get that uh, uh, over uh, 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 removed, basically. But oil this morning down to $46 and change. It's set a six-week low and down about 2% in the early going this morning. Disney coming off a record-breaking day yesterday. The shares up by 4% to 107 U.S. as there was talk by CEO uh, Bob Iger, that Frozen 2, yes, the sequel to the billion-dollar uh, Frozen movie, that'll be out in the next couple of years, and it's from the same producers, as a matter of fact. Uh, another Star Wars installment and some spin-offs of the Star Wars franchise also set over the next couple of years. And Apple starting the day a little to the upside, and there's talk that the new Apple Watch, which will be uh, uh, on pre-order on April 10th, that's changing the game in the watch industry itself. Some of the uh, Luxury brands Swatch and Louis Vuitton, they're also talking about doing smart watches over the next couple of years. Have a good weekend, Dave. Back you to too, you. Mike. Thanks very much. That is business editor Mike Eppel. You can hear Mike on 660 News at 26 and 56 after the hour. Here's a look. BT's Market Report is brought to you by 660 News. And that is our look at news, business, and the markets to 740. Leah? Thanks so much.